So what I have here is a regular piece of grass cloth, which is a rice paper back, no metallic anything. Glam grass from Philip Jeffries. It's, it's got a metallic look to it. This is their Java cork. That is their um, paper weave, metallic paper weave. And this has been applied to a, a sheetrock sample that has had two coats of a very hard acrylic primer. Now, what I also wanted to check was, if any of these samples don't come off, like one of them didn't come off in my test, it was really hard to get it off, I wanted to see if the um, non-woven liner paper from wallliner.com, that's Ed Hovnanian's, um, I wanted to see if I could just forget about worrying, or, or just not worry about removing it, and hang them on a non-woven liner. Okay, so here we go. What I did was to remove them, you know the hole in poker, if you don't know the hole in poker, just Google it and you'll, you'll find out how to make one. It, it is a, uh, a machine that I uh, invented which puts tiny, tiny perforations, invisible perforations, so that the removal solution can go through, through the magic of capillarity and wets the adhesive behind it, and once it wets the adhesive, it should let go. What I use for testing, I use Windex. Windex is a really fast penetrating um, solution because it has almost no, um, what do you call it, uh, surface tension. So it's, it, it's like very, very wet water. Okay, these samples have been soaking now for about 25 minutes and I've sprayed them three times, so that's usually enough. What I would expect with the regular uh, grass cloth, no problem. See how it's all saturated. There's nothing to stop it from being saturated, so it comes off like a snap, and then you just wet that down and scrape it off. Grass cloth is very easy to remove. Okay. Now we get into the metallic glam grass from Philip Jeffries. And look at that. I'm very surprised. See, you see what's happening now? There's the metallic part. Okay, and that's what I mean. That's what I mean by the little chocolate Easter egg thing. But it comes off really well. Compared, you should have seen. You should have seen one of these other metallics. They were not. That was not coming off. But as you can see, the metallic part is preventing water from coming through to get to the adhesive. But this is not bad. I would. I would say, hooray, because that is not a removal problem. That's the paper backing. You wet it again. It soaks it up like a paper towel and comes right off. Alrighty. Now we get to the Java cork. Can you see this metallic stuff? All right. It's actually okay. I mean, to an amateur, they'd go, oh my god, this is awful, but if you, you know, if you're a professional and you've got a razor knife and you're at all adept at using it, okay, now this is what, this, okay, that's the problem I was having with um, the other metallic stuff. That's, that's, that's more like it. Right, how are we going to here? And by the way, this was thoroughly hole and poked. Okay, see? Now, now we got that problem.
That's what I'm talking about. Can you see these uh, these little bits of, of silver are still? And now I did some uh, drywall damage. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now this is only one square foot. Imagine a room of about 1,200 square feet where you've got to remove that. And this is a really well primed piece of drywall. Uh, you don't run into that very often out in the field. You won't run into a, a drywall that has been double primed. And this is, a, is not good. I'll hit it again. Now that I've got, uh, now that I've got it exposed, and I'll get back to that because, because I'm going to let it soak a little bit. See if I can get to these little nasty bits. Okay. And Philip Jeffries. Metallic paper weave. Yeah. Hey, now it it feels damp. Okay, this this is the problem. This is the problem I had with um, when I was testing this. That's not good. Okay, now all that blade is doing is it's, it's shaving off the residual adhesive that was used to adhere the strands of paper weave. But it's just not, not good. Okay, now you see it turning dark, so that means that the paper, this was, this was a, a very big surprise to me. I had thoroughly done this. Put thousands and thousands of tiny holes in it. But I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it doesn't allow the water to go through like it does with a vinyl. How did we do here? No, not good. That's it's just not, it's just you know, it looks like oh it's not too bad, but it is because it's only one square foot. And since you are professional paper hangers or semi-professional paper hangers, you really should be thinking about ease of removal so that everybody has a really good time when um, it's time to remove. All right, I don't like that. Now, how do I do with, how did I do with uh, the liner paper? Is it really strippable? Beautiful. Okay. Here's the Java cork. And that's right down to the prime surface. There's the found another piece of paper that I know it's tough to see on video, but there's your clean wall. And with the um, paper weave, the metallic paper weave. Excellent. Look at that. So, there's no doubt in my mind that if you've got one of these metallics, and by the way, Philip Jeffries makes a metallic linen, which I also had difficulty removing, very much like the paper weave, but their glam grass was not really bad. Let me just double check that. I guess what this says is that you can't really know beforehand how something is going to behave for in terms of removability because I, the glam grass kind of surprised me that it came off so easily. And look at that. So the paper, you know, the paper backing does come off. And that's not that's not a bad thing to remove. Okay.